Yashar Jasher, 38, and Ihuri, king of Shiloh, came up to assist El-An, and he approached Yaakov when Yaakov drew his bow that was in his hand, and with an arrow struck Ihuri, which caused his death. And when Ihuri, king of Shiloh, was dead, the four remaining kings fled from their station with the rest of the captains, and they endeavored to retreat, saying, We have no more strength with the Ivrim, after their having killed the three kings and their captains, who were more powerful than we are. And when the sons of Yaakov saw that the remaining kings had removed from their station, they pursued them. And Yaakov also came from the heap of Shechem, from the place where he was standing. And they went after the kings, and they approached them with their servants. And the kings and the captains with the rest of their armies seeing that the sons of Yaakov approached them, were afraid of their lives and fled till they reached the city of Chazar. And the sons of Yaakov pursued them to the gate of the city of Chazar. And they smote a great smiting amongst the kings and their armies, about four thousand men. And while they were smiting the army of the kings, Yaakov was occupied with his bow, confining himself to smiting the kings, and he slew them all. And he slew Paratan, king of Chazar, at the gate of the city of Chazar, and he afterwards smote Khuchi, king of Sartan, and Lavan, king of Beit Choran and Shavir, king of Macha, Ema, and he slew them all with arrows, an arrow to each of them, and they died. And the sons of Yaakov, seeing that all the kings were dead, and that they were broken up and retreating, continued to carry on the battle with the armies of the kings, opposite the gate of Chazar, and they still smote about four hundred of their men. And three men of the servants of Yaakov fell in that battle, and when Yahuda saw that three of his servants had died, it grieved him greatly. And his anger burned within him against the Emorim, and all the men that remained of the armies of the kings were greatly afraid of their lives, and they ran and broke the gate of the walls of the city of Chazar, and they all entered the city for safety. And they concealed themselves in the midst of the city of Chazar, for the city of Chazar was very large and extensive. And when all these armies had entered the city, the sons of Yaakov ran after them to the city. And four mighty men, experienced in battle, went forth from the city and stood against the entrance of the city with drawn swords and spears in their hands. And they placed themselves opposite the sons of Yaakov and would not suffer them to enter the city. And Naphtali ran and came between them, and with his sword smote two of them, and cut off their heads at one stroke. And he turned to the other two, and behold, they had fled, and he pursued them, overtook them, smote them, and slew them. And the sons of Yaakov came to the city and saw, and behold, there was another wall to the city, 
and they sought for the gate of the wall, and could not find it. And Yahuda sprang upon the top of the wall, and Shimon and Levi followed him. And they all three descended from the wall into the city. And Shimon and Levi slew all the men who ran for safety into the city, and also the inhabitants of the city with their women and little ones. They slew with the edge of the sword, and the cries of the city ascended up to heaven. And Dan and Naphtali sprang up the wall to see what caused the noise of lamentation. For the sons of Yaakov felt anxious about their brothers, and they heard the inhabitants of the city speaking with weeping and supplications, saying, Take all that we possess in the city and go away, only do not put us to death. And when Yahuda, Shimon, and Levi had ceased smiting the inhabitants of the city, they ascended the wall and called to Dan and Naphtali, who were upon the wall, and to the rest of their brothers. And Shimon and Levi informed them of the entrance into the city. And all the sons of Yaakov came to fetch the soil, rather spoil. And the sons of Yaakov took the spoil of the city of Chazar, the flocks and herds, and the property, and they took all that could be captured, and went away that day from the city. And on the next day, the sons of Yaakov went to Sartan, for they heard that the men of Sartan, who had remained in the city, were assembling to fight with them for having slain their king. And Sartan was a very high and fortified city, and it had a deep rampart surrounding the city. And the pillar of the rampart was about 50 cubits, and its breadth 40 cubits. And there was no place for a man to enter the city on account of the rampart. And the sons of Yaakov saw the rampart of the city, and they sought an entrance in it, but could not find it. For the entrance to the city was at the rear, and every man that wished to come into the city came by that road and went around the whole city. And he afterwards entered the city. And the sons of Yaakov, seeing they could not find the way into the city, their anger, anger was kindled greatly, and the inhabitants of the city seeing that the sons of Yaakov were coming to them, were greatly afraid of them, for they had heard of their strength and what they had done to Chazar. And the inhabitants of the city of Sartan could not go out toward the sons of Yaakov after having assembled in the city to fight against them, lest they might thereby get into the city. But when they saw that they were coming toward them, they were greatly afraid of them, for they had heard of their strength and what they had done to Chazar. So the inhabitants of Sartan speedily took away the bridge of the road of the city from its place before the sons of Yaakov came, and they brought it into the city. And the sons of Yaakov came and sought the way into the city, and could not find it. And the inhabitants of the city went up to the top of the wall and saw. And behold, the sons of Yaakov were seeking an entrance into the city. And the inhabitants of the city reproached the sons of Yaakov from the top of the wall, and they cursed them. And the sons of Yaakov heard the reproaches, and they were greatly incensed, and their anger burned within them. And the sons of Yaakov were provoked at them, and they all rose and sprang over the rampart with the force of their strength, 
and through their might passed the 40 cubits breadth of the rampart. And when they had passed the rampart, they stood under the wall of the city. And they found all the gates of the city enclosed with iron doors. And the sons of Yaakov came near to break open the doors of the gates of the city. And the inhabitants did not let them, for from the top of the wall they were casting stones and arrows upon them. And the number of the people that were upon the wall was about four hundred men. And when the sons of Yaakov saw that the men of the city would not let them open the gates of the city, they sprang and ascended the top of the wall. And Yahuda went up first to the east part of the city. And Gad and Asher went up after him to the west corner of the city, and Shimon and Levi to the north, and Dan and Reuven to the south, and the men who were on the top of the wall, the inhabitants of the city, seeing that the sons of Yaakov were coming up to them, they all fled from the wall, descended into the city, and concealed themselves in the midst of the city. And Yishachar and Naphtali, that remained under the wall, approached and broke the gates of the city, and kindled a fire at the gates of the city, that the iron melted. And all the sons of Yaakov came into the city, they and all their men, and they fought with the inhabitants of the city of Sartan, and smote them with the edge of the sword. And no man stood up before them. And about two hundred men fled from the city, and they all went and hid themselves in a certain tower in the city. And Yahuda pursued them to the tower, and he broke down the tower, which fell upon the men, and they all died. And the sons of Yaakov went up the road of the roof of that tower, and they saw, and behold, there was another strong and high tower at a distance in the city, and the top of it reached to heaven. And the sons of Yaakov hastened and descended, and went with all their men to that tower, and found it filled with about three hundred men, women, and little ones. And the sons of Yaakov smote a great smiting amongst those men in the tower, and they ran away and fled from them. And Shimon and Levi pursued them, when twelve mighty and valiant men came out to them from the place where they had concealed themselves. And those twelve men maintained a strong battle against Shimon and Levi. And Shimon and Levi could not prevail over them. And those valiant men broke the shields of Shimon and Levi. And one of them struck at Levi's head with his sword. When Levi hastily placed his hand to his head, for he was afraid of the sword. And the sword struck Levi's hand, and it wanted but little to the hand of Levi, being cut off. And Levi seized the sword of the valiant man in his hand and took it forcibly from the man, and with it he struck at the head of the powerful man, and he severed his head. And eleven men approached to fight with Levi, for they saw that one of them was killed, and the sons of Yaakov fought. But the sons of Yaakov could not prevail over them, for those men were very powerful. And the sons of Yaakov, seeing that they could not prevail over them, Shimon gave a loud and tremendous shriek, and the eleven powerful men were stunned at the voice of Shimon's shrieking. And Yahuda at a distance knew the voice of Shimon's shouting, and Naphtali and Yahuda ran with their shields to Shimon and Levi, and found them fighting with those powerful men, unable to prevail over them as their shields were broken. And 
Naphtali saw that the shields of Shimon and Levi were broken, and he took two shields from his servants and brought them to Shimon and Levi. And Shimon, Levi, and Yahudah on that day fought all three against the eleven mighty men until the time of sunset, but they could not prevail over them. And this was told unto Yaakov, and he was sorely grieved, and he prayed unto Yahuah, and he and Naphtali, his son, went against these mighty men. And Yaakov approached and drew his bow, and came nigh unto the mighty men, and slew three of their men with the bow. And the remaining eight turned back, and behold, the war waged against them in the front and rear, and they were greatly afraid of their lives, and could not stand before the sons of Yaakov, and they fled from before them. And in their flight they met Dan and Asher, coming toward the men, and they suddenly fell upon them, and fought with them, and slew two of them. And Yahudah and his brothers pursued them, and smote the remainder of them, and slew them. And all the sons of Yaakov returned and walked about the city, searching if they could find any men. And they found about twenty young men in a cave in the city, and God and Ashur smote them all. And Dan and Naphtali lighted upon the rest of the men who had fled and escaped from the second tower, and they smote them all. And the sons of Yaakov smote all the inhabitants of the city of Sartan, but the women and little ones they left in the city and did not slay them. And all the inhabitants of the city of Sartan were powerful men. One of them would pursue a thousand, and two of them would not flee from ten thousand of the rest of men. And the sons of Yaakov slew all the inhabitants of the city of Sartan, with the edge of the sword, that no man stood up against them, and they left the women in the city. And the sons of Yaakov took all the spoil of the city and captured what they desired. And they took flocks and herds and property from the city. And the sons of Yaakov did unto Sartan and its inhabitants as they had done to Hazar and its inhabitants. And they turned and went away.